Hi, this is Karen with The Kind Garden Stuff. And today I have a breeder tray of the stripless worms, red worms, AKA Louisiana Swamp Worm, or form formerly known as the Louisiana Swamp Worms, ready to be uh, sifted out. We started with um, 13 ounces of worms on November 12th, which is a little bit over a month ago. Materials you'll need besides that bin uh, to do this are three more of the uh, bus bins, a couple of, uh, one or two of these tubs uh, for measuring out the worms. I like to use one of these. I think it's a putty knife, I don't know. And a little paintbrush and a cup and a quarter inch sieve. Let me get that um, set up and we'll get to it. All right, hopefully you can see okay. I've got my quarter inch sieve. Let me go ahead and take these things off the top. I put these extra things in the ex extra, one of the extra tubs, as well as the gloves, as well as any um, newspapers that might be on top. I use the quarter inch sieve to sift out just the larger worms. go through the sieve and get any larger worms out that might have clitellum. Otherwise I just leave them in here. Let me see if I could close up on here. And you can see. Let's see if you can see. See if you can see what I see. Maybe you can't. <laughs> Let's see. It's a lot of cocoons is what I'm trying to to show you. There's a bunch that are off camera. Let me just gather them all, gather whatever I can see. These are just the few that I gathered, but there's lots more in here. Lots and lots. So I set this aside and clean this up a little bit. And now comes the fun part. Oop, let me uh, go back out so you can see what I'm doing. This is where I do the light method of sorting. to move 
this up a little bit so I can work on it. Okay, since this is just going back into a breeder bin, um, well, I normally clean it off a little bit better, but like I said, since I'm, it's just going back into a breeder bin and not being sold to anyone, then I don't need to be as precise as I normally would. Um, but this is good. So I'm going to take the scraper and put them in the plastic bowl. So I got all of them except for one. Yay. <clears throat> Let me put this aside for a second. Go ahead and get my scale. Now I know this bowl weighs 2.4 ounces, so I can subtract it from yeah, a couple of ounces from the uh, total here. Let me see if we can get this in here. One pound, one ounces, so take away a couple of ounces. So this is uh, 15 ounces. So that's good. It started at 13, ended up at 15. Didn't grow as big as I hoped, but who knows? They still grew. So that's a good thing. Okay. So let me put this aside. Put this here. What I do with the worms. This is a brand new breeder bin. It was made of uh, fifth, about 15 to 17 cups of uh, level cups of, um, what did I use? Coconut core as the medium. I did put some uh, um, alfalfa pellets in here, made them soft, you know, made it uh, pliable so they could eat it, so they have a little bit of food until the next time I feed them. And it is, not super wet, but not super dry. It's, it's, you know, probably how it should be. And then I dump them in here. And good to go. Good to go for another month. Normally, I don't have to set this out uh, for any lengthy period of time. Um, they'll t they won't try to crawl out of the bin. They seem to like what I put in here. I also put in um, a quarter teaspoon of crushed mosquito dunks and also an eighth teaspoon of grit. Because if you've seen my other videos, where I feed them grit. I feed them every week some type of grit. Um, but since this is a shallow bin, you don't need that much, if any at all. I use different types of grit, like dolomite, um, coral calcium, neem cake, um, diatomaceous earth, eggshells, you know, whatever kind of grit I have on hand. I'll, I'll just switch it out every week. So instead of waiting for them to go all the way into the bedding, I just, you know, like you've seen, I, I dug a hole and I cover them up just with a little bit of the bedding. I'll put um, a wet piece of newspaper on top, on top of that another plastic like I do with all the bins 
and put a, put a brand new label on this with uh, 14 ounces of worms and the date and the type of worms and put them back on the shelf. Now with the other bin that I just emptied, just sift it out I'll put the remaining bedding from doing the light method so what I'll do with this is put a quarter inch not a quarter inch, an uh, eighth of a teaspoon of the grit, as well as an eighth of a teaspoon of the um, mosquito dunks in here, and then cover it with the wet newspaper and plastic, and put it on the shelf. Oh yes, and um, put a label on here that it's cocoons now. So this will. Uh, I'll check on these like I do the other cocoon bins once a week let them grow out three months to four months depending you know how they do um, and then do the same thing that you've seen here wait till they have clitellum feed them up anyway okay so that's it for today thank you for coming on this journey with me